If you're coming here on today's video to hear me shoot it down and say you better not take it and it's awful and there's all these side effects, I can't really, to be honest, chat too much about about this sex ender because I'm being paid off by Big Pharma. Will this sex ender reduce your hunger? It might do. Will you get side effects? You might do. Will it help you keep your calorie intake lower? It might do. Hey, what's happening ladies and gentlemen, Connor Rhodes from Slim Society, lovely to see you again. Today we are going to be looking through and discussing NHS approved weight loss jab which suppresses appetite, now available at Boots. Members of the public, my Six Steps of Slim members and other people have been sending me news articles and tabloids such as these. We're going to be looking through one from The Independent, we're going to be looking at um, an article written by The Mirror, I'm going to be showing you a BMI chart and some scientific studies, of course I am. Let's talk about this new weight loss drug that's now available. Let's have a look through the articles and we'll discuss, is it new? Is it good? Is it safe? Does it work? Should you be using it? Will my clients be using it? And what are we going to do about all this weight loss business? So let's jump straight into the first article. NHS approved weight loss jab, which suppresses appetite now available at Boots. Saxender is available to buy through an online prescription service. So no, you can't just walk in and just buy it or as much as you want you have to actually get a prescription for it weight loss injection which works by suppressing users appetites is now available to buy at boots with a prescription sex ender is available to buy across all boots and lloyd's pharmacy stores those interested will need to apply for a quick online consultation so you will need to answer some questions about your medical history as it is not side effect free and you will also need to have a bmi over 30 which as you can see on the bmi chart here would would have to put you in the category of obese or above to have access to this drug. Sex Ender is a prescription only medication which will only be available at Boots with a prescription through its online doctor weight loss treatment service. Now a little bit about how it works. The jab works by mimicking a hormone called GLP-1, that's glucagon-like peptide 1. It's actually a GLP-1 agonist, which means Saxenda, which is drug name is liraglutide. And there's been various other versions of these GLP-1 agonists floating around for diabetes and weight management, etc. For a good number of years now, there's liraglutide, there's semaglutide, there's duaglutide. This one's brand name is Saxenda, the drug name is liraglutide. It's actually, like I said, it's a GLP-1 agonist, which means it activates the same receptor in your body as this natural hormone called GLP-1 does. GLP-1, which is the hormone that is released after you eat to let you know that you are full, the article reads. It's not the hormone, as it says here, which is released after you eat to let you know that you're full. It's a hormone that's released after you eat, and one of them which lets you know that you've eaten food and sort of stimulates satiation, which means fullness. Saxenda mimics this hormone, the GLP-1, curbing your appetite, which it seems to do successfully in studies, so you consume less calories. This is a very important point. And then as you can see next down in the article, it says experts have been quick to stress this is not a miracle weight loss jab, but it can help towards your weight loss. So this is not some magical fat burner. It's not like you just can start sweating out or peeing out or melting off all of your body fat magically it's not some sort of like central nervous system stimulant it's not boosting your appetite what this sex ender is doing this glp1 agonist is it's curbing your appetite a little bit through the injection of this hormone so it's reducing your hunger slightly and it also reduces the speed of digestion making you feel a little bit fuller for longer so is it effective then let's continue to read on users of the jab should expect to lose around five percent of their body weight in the first three months actually the advice of sex ender themselves is if you do not lose i think it's four percent in 16 weeks so i think it's if you don't lose one percent of your weight for the first total body weight for the first four months you should cease usage of it you know so if it's not working you just shouldn't take it even according to the people who make it according to the nhs liraglutide like we've just discussed another name for sex ender is suitable for adults up to the age of 75 it is not recommended if you're pregnant or breastfeeding or have certain health conditions such as liver or kidney problems also some kind of tumor cancer and stuff like this but these will be flagged up um by the prescription service on sex senders website common side effects for those taking the injection included nausea tiredness constipation and low blood sugar among other things among the serious side effects it lists as thyroid tumors including cancer that's like i said that's one of the contraindications that you shouldn't use it so it's not side effect free some studies showed that over 65 percent, i want to say it was 68 percent or something people experience digestive issues or nausea while using this drug, other studies have shown, I will say, 
um, a much lower percentage of side effects and lower percentages of people experiencing nausea, which is like feeling sick and some people being sick and feeling dizzy and things like this. Um, a couple of sh studies showed high rates of these side effects. Um, some studies showed lower, so it seems to be interpersonally variable. It was first approved in the UK in 2017, initially only through private prescription. It's recently rolled out under the NHS under strict criteria. So the, the UK seem to be releasing this out to the public to see if they can help battle the obesity crisis. However, to be eligible for this jab at a pharmacy, you still need to meet a certain criteria, including having a BMI, like we said, above 30 and having previously tried other methods to lose weight. So they're not just going to give you this out for free um, and they're not just going to give it you out willy nilly either. Kind of like with some of the other medical services for weight loss, such as gastric bands and stuff like that, you have to prove that you've tried other forms of weight loss first. If approved, the jabs can be collected in store or delivered. One injection lasts 17 days um, and a pack of three should last four and a half weeks. I don't know if that's actually correct. One injection lasts 17 days. As far as I'm aware, it's a daily injection. So maybe they mean one injection pen lasts 17 days and a pack of three pens should last four and a half weeks. Um, but I'm not sure. Let's have a little look. Saxenda daily injections. Another semaglutide, slightly different one, is... See, look here, Saxenda, the starting dose is 0.6 milligrams per day for week one. So it's actually a daily injection. Yeah, yeah, look, when, um, this is from privatedoc.com, all right. When you take Saxenda, you need to gradually increase your dose in 0.6 milligram intervals. So they start you off on a small dose and then titrate it upwards over a period of weeks to try and avoid side effects until you reach what is called the maintenance dose at three milligrams daily. Yeah, so this article is not exactly correct. It's actually a daily, it's a daily injection similar to um, it's like an insulin style pen, which is used. Um, a pack of three should last four and a half weeks. Price wise, a pack of three pens costs £150 and a pack of five costs £240. So let's have a look what the mirror's got to say about this. Is the new Boots weight loss jab safe? How the NHS approved injection works? In a world full of chocolate biscuits and crisps, losing weight is a tough task. For most people, however, hope could be around the corner for, for those who can't quit the snack cupboard yet. Well... That's not true, <laughs> because if you're eating loads of snacks, that's got nothing to do with your hunger, has it? Snacks are not snacks do not exist and are not eaten to quench hunger. You'll know that if you've ever tried it. If you've ever been hungry and thought, oh, I'll just have a snack, that'll put me on. No, it won't. You'll eat 713 snacks and then you'll still be so hungry that you'll end up eating the meal that you were snacking to try and avoid. Snacks are for pleasure, proteins and fiber and vegetables and fruits. These are for anti, these are anti-hunger foods. Snacks are just for pleasure, aren't they? So if you're less hungry, that will not really help you eat less snacks. That's not really how it works. But anyway, they're just trying to catch your attention. And clearly it's working on me. High Street Pharmacy Boots have now announced that they will distribute the appetite suppressing injection sac sender in line with NHS cons consultations in a bid to slim down the nation. Recent government data showing shocking statistics that around three quarters of people aged 45 to 74 in England are overweight or obese. And this is costing um, the UK an approximate 27 billion every year. So how does the jab work? Saxenda works by mimicking, mimicking GLP-1, like we said. According to the drug developers, Saxenda works by acting on receptors in the brain that control your appetite, causing you to feel fuller and less hungry. Saxenda, liraglutide 3 milligram, needs to be prescribed. You should lose 5% of your weight. This is basically the same article again. Oh, here we go. Look, back in 2015, the safety of Saxenda injection was trialed on 5,813 overweight patients. The trial found that digestion reactions were the most frequently reported adverse reactions during the treatment at 67.9%. 68%, like I said. Look at me go. The study also found that it was rather common for patients to suffer sickness and vomiting while on the drug with potentially more than one in 10 experiencing nausea, headaches, and diarrhea. That's because it's literally changing the way your digestive system works. It's literally physically impacting your digestive system. So this doesn't necessarily come for free. So what do I think about this? Do I recommend it? Do I recommend that you... Use this drug that you inject this hormone. I'll have to say not really because 
I'm an all natural advocate. I like things done the natural way and the safest way. And I will say that this this sex ender does seem to be safe. It really does. It does seem to be safe. They've done multiple studies, side effects. There are side effects, but they seem to be minimal. If you count nausea and vomiting as minimal <laughs> versus some of the weight loss assistance that people are getting from this. And, and it does seem to work in, in weight loss studies. They, they put people onto diets and sort of lifestyle counseling and therapy sessions. So they're not only just injecting people with this drug and seeing if they lose weight and you shouldn't do that either because it's not going to work that's not what science is showing at all it shows that when paired with diet and lifestyle improvement a little bit of an anti-hunger hormone can help some people just boost along a little bit and it helps them keep their calorie intake low enough so that they can lose significant weight um but you, re you really do need to need not it's not it's not a want it's it's not oh if you want to no it's right you actually need to do diet and lifestyle improvement while using this sex ender like i said it's not just going to magically just melt weight off you that's not the way that it works it just it's a little appetite suppressant and a little digestive slower downer -er, not a real word to help you keep your calories low but you still do need to make lower calorie changes the some of the studies showed uh, it paired with a low fat diet which fat's got more calories than anything else so Yes, low fat diets are good. You can, if you go on a low fat diet, you'll be probably eating more fruits, more vegetables, hopefully more proteins and stuff like this. This stuff's going to keep you for full, full for longer anyway. This drops your calorie intake and then people are losing nice weight. Exercise is also very important when using this sex sender. I saw a Dr. Ann Peters at the endocrinology conference, um, 2021. So in the year just gone, really emphasize that muscle mass or lean body mass protection aka exercise and good protein intake is vitally important when using sex ender in the weight loss studies the amount of actual fat percentage and fat body fat weight that was lost was much lower than total weight lost by the patients and participants so what does that mean it means they're not only just losing body fat when dieting and when using this sex ender they're also losing from some way somehow lean body mass too so they're losing muscle and body fat so this is not the best for toning up this is not the best for fitness this is not the best for health for pure weight loss it's great but you need to be doing things to protect your health and lean muscle mass and lean body mass such as exercising preferably with resistance training but any exercise is good and then with a good protein intake too and to be fair if you're doing those things if you're not if you weren't doing those things and then you were that'll elicit weight loss anyway won't it? That will elicit weight loss anyway. So does does this drug work? Yes, it does. Is it safe? Look, I, w I would personally like more long-term studies. I would like to see what it what it's doing to people in more of a long term at these higher dosages because it's been used for diabetes management at lower dosages for a while, but now it's been bumped up to these higher dosages for obesity management. I'd like to see more long-term studies and data on this before I recommend it to people. But I'm also a natural Nancy, you know, so I'm kind of slightly biased against these things. I would rather you, if you were somebody that I loved and ca or cared about or I'm taking care of or I'm helping and supporting, unless you need it, which I'll tell you this straight too. Some of my clients are, are on this sex ender already and um, some of them are on various other GLP-1 agonists as well and they, they have been for a while. I coach people who are not prescribed or given by me but a doctor has recommended or given or suggested or prescribed this to them alongside me, Slim Society, diet and lifestyle, health improvement, exactly like we were saying as a necessity. Some people come to me for that section of it doing the part that needs doing as well while getting supported by this hormone and I'm not against it. If it's not hurting them they're not feeling any negative side effects and it's helping them either physiologically or just through some sort of placebo methods which is also a good thing but it does seem to it does have physiological efficacy in studies and it doesn't work for everyone but it does work for some people so i can't be against it anything that's helping people prove that so if you're coming here on today's video to hear me shoot it down and say you better not take it and it's awful and there's all these side effects i can't really to be honest chat too much about about this sex ender because i'm being paid off by big pharma 
No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's not because I've been paid off by a big pharma. It's because in studies it's not showing terrible side effects. Doctors recommend it. It is helping some people lose weight. Is it a panacea? Is it a is it a savior? Is it our Lord, the Jesus Christ, coming to save you from your obesity issues in diabetes like pen injectable format? No, it's not. And why isn't it? Because it's an anti-hunger hormone. Okay. This is my last point and I'll finish the video on this. It's not going to cure the world of obesity for the same reasons that bariatric surgery like gastric bands and gastric sleeves and gastric bypasses also haven't magically cured the world of obesity. Because what, what does it do if you get a gastric band or a gastric bypass? It reduces your stomach size down so that you feel less hungry, right? Does it work? Yes. In terms of reducing your hunger, you can actually consume less food. Does it work in terms of helping some people lose weight? Sometimes. Why not always? Because most people are not overweight because they're too hungry. And that's the truth. Most people who have obesity, especially when you're moving into the higher BMI categories, higher and higher and higher, most of these people, answer this for yourself. Leave on comments below if you're in one of these situations. Most people who are, who are having larger proportional proportional struggles with their weight loss or their weight management it's not because they're just so hungry that they just they just oh my god i just never i'm never that's a, a few people sure they never feel satiated and they can just eat and eat and eat and eat and the hunger's just driving them insane for most people no people are obese due to a whole variety of factors their upbringing economics genetics stress, trauma, coping mechanisms, the environment around them, you know, and even, even more, just it's, there's a whole plethora of reasons and variables that go into it. And hunger is only one. In fact, I'll show you this. There's even some evidence that because these GLP ones, are not your only sort of hunger or appetite hormones. There's loads of things going on. There's even way more things that determine whether you're hungry or not than just hormones. It's not even all about hormones, is it? It's also about the foods that you've eaten and stress levels and food environment and all kinds of different things like we've said. Like you bought, for example, one of this hormone, as you can see here, I'm just highlighting called ghrelin. This is one of the hormones that makes you hungry. Ghrelin is the only known circulating orexogenic factor. Orexogenic means appetite stimulating. So ghrelin is the only known circulating appetite stimulating, so appetite increasing factor, and has been found to be reduced in obese humans. Showing another study. As previously mentioned before, many studies have reported that mean serum, so average blood levels of ghrelin, this hormone that makes you hungry, are generally lower in obese patients when compared to lean individuals. See study here, here, and here. So what does that mean then? Well, there's, there's so many factors that go into determining whether you're hungry or not, but there's some evidence that the more somebody weighs, the less hungry they are. Because other hunger hormones also change due to obesity too. So it's not like the more overweight you are, the hungry you are. That is literally not the way that it works. So you, will this sac sender reduce your hunger? It might do. Will you get side effects? You might do. Will it help you keep your calorie intake lower? It might do. Will it help you lose weight more successfully? It might do. It's up to you whether you try it, but it's not a be all and end all. And it's not a one size fix, fixes all. And it's not a... It's not going to help you with the snacking, like the flipping mirror article said. This is ridiculous. The fact that you're eating too many snacks, or you've got a highly processed diet, or you, you just... The vast majority of your calorie intake comes from junk food. This, none of this is to do with hunger. This is to do with either habits, or socioeconomic factors, or upbringing, or availability, or time, or mindfulness, or pleasure seeking pathways or you know it's nothing to do with hunger the fact that we eat too many snacks and we drink too much on weekends and there's too many takeaways coming into your household and ending up inside your mouth you know all this kind of stuff snacking in an evening glass of wine packets of crisps while watching tv none of this is to do with hunger so it's not a one size fix all anyway is that a review is that an unbiased review i think it is let me know let me know what you think to this. Let me know 
If you've got comments or questions, let me know if you're going to be trying this. I've, I've seen people commenting online. Oh my God, why can I get this? Take my money, take my money. <laughs> people just, people will inject anything to try and lose weight, but will you also just eat a little bit healthier? You know, if you're feeling really hungry, this is my, this is my natural Nancy tip. You know, if you're feeling really hungry all the time, just eat more protein and vegetables. I swear to God. Do you know people, people who say, oh, I can eat forever. I'm always hungry. You know, these people, or, I'm never satiated, I just, I just graze all day, I never feel full. These people have got highly processed junk food diets. I've never known anybody, I've coached hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people, and I've never known anybody eat more protein and slash all more vegetables and then still complain about hunger. If it's people who complain about hunger, they're just living off carbohydrates. They just continually eat the wrong things. They eat things that are not even satiating for the body, things that don't have good and powerful hunger signaling pathways to them, like processed carbs and junk food, not like protein and vegetables, and then just complain that they're hungry all the time and think that there's something wrong with them. They're not. There's just some foods for function and there's some foods for fun. And if you're eating all the foods for fun, then don't expect to have good function. You know? So if, you th if you're thinking that hunger is a real big problem for you, eat more protein, eat more vegetables. Walking more also reduces people's appetite and stuff like this. You can also boost your metabolism so that you can actually eat more. Through some of these, through those previous hunger beating natural methods that I've just mentioned, they also boost your metabolism so that you can actually eat more, so that you can actually deal with hunger, so that you don't have to eat, live on tiny little bird food. You can just make your metabolism faster. This kind of injection is not going to do that. So it's a tool. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to use it. Thank you so much. I'll speak to you and I'll see you again soon.